the new Russian civil airliner, the Sukhoi Superjet 100, which has just gone into service, is the latest example of a plane with a fly-by-wire system. That means it uses electronic rather than hydraulic or mechanical systems to fly the plane. When the pilots adjust the controls, those movements are converted into electronic signals transmitted along wires, and flight control computers then make the necessary adjustments. This pilot explains the handling of this aircraft is very simple. It's just done with what we call the joystick. We can easily control the plane on both its lateral and longitudinal axes. The fly-by-wire system is quite effective here since signals and inputs from the cockpit are all sent electronically. Those signals go faster and the risk of mistakes is reduced. Digital fly-by-wire systems were first used by Airbus in its A320s. The technology retains ultimate flight control, though in the unlikely event of multiple computer failures, pilots can use a mechanical backup system. The correspondent explains that electronic interfaces are now replacing manual flight control systems in more and more commercial planes, no matter of what size. The fly-by-wire system on board this plane has successfully passed 64 flight tests. And some of those tests were particularly challenging. The test pilot explains we have tested this plane near Archangel in northern Russia in really harsh weather conditions with five millimeters of snow accumulating on the leading edges of the wings and also on the tail fin. And both the electronic handling of the aircraft and its overall stability were not affected in any way. While there is still some debate among pilots about the safety of fly-by-wire, more and more plane makers are switching to the system to replace heavy, bulky and costly hydraulics inside aircraft.